Bay yesterday. One night after absolutely demolishing the Magic on the road with Kyrie, the Nets lost at home without Kyrie on a buzzer beater to the Mavs. To make matters worse, it came at the hands of a former Net in Spencer Dinwiddie, whose three gave the Mavs the 113-111 W. Brooklyn, a very different team with Kyrie Irving on the court, as you can imagine. In the 19 games he's played this season, they're shooting more efficiently and scoring more points. More than 118 points per game, that is, which would be the most in the NBA. Remember, no Kyrie Irving in the next two as well as they play at home against Portland and against Utah. So now, of course, no Kyrie Irving on the floor last night. They take an L. So by Kyrie not being on the floor, Stephen A., I mean, is this net letting this entire Nets team down? Without question. Jay knows this. He tried to not all he wants to. But it's the absolute truth in all seriousness. Here's my thing. How can we rave about Kyrie Irving? and the sensational talent that he is, and the 60-point explosion that he had against Orlando. But we don't bring him up when he's not on the court and they lose to Dallas. I want, I can't wait for you to try to explain that one. You don't get to have it both ways. You can't sit up there and credit him when he's spectacular and talk about how phenomenal he is, which is true, because he is phenomenal. He is sensational. He is box office. As I, as Jay knows, Shay, I've been on the record stating this on several occasions. Kyrie Irving is box office. I'd pay him $50 million a year. He's worth it. You walk through the turnstiles to see this brother perform, all right? But I'd never give him a long-term contract to get in his NBA career because he can't be trusted to be there. And the record shows it. Now, what I'm saying is this. The night before, albeit against the Orlando Magic, it doesn't take away the sensational performance that he put forth, how pure of an offensive juggernaut this brother is. He is something special to behold. But yet, we gonna sit up there the next game when Luka Doncic is in the house and KD gotta go it alone, okay? Because we learned the Ben Simmons back injury and what have you. And Jay, just so you know, I don't know if you saw me say this last night, but as an aside, me getting on Ben Simmons, I had to stop. We can't have it both ways. We can't sit up there and say, listen to the medical professionals, all right, when it comes to the vaccine. But then when he has a back injury and what have you, and the medical professionals yeah, are right. saying that, that we ignore sense. that. No, fair is fair. They say he's got a back injury, I stand down. He's got a back injury. I hope Ben Simmons gets well so I can see this brother on the court because he's sensational in his own right in certain ways as well. But when it comes to Kyrie Irving, this brother is spectacular. He's a difference maker. And I'll go down the list, Jay, for you. Remember when they had that 11-game losing streak? Mm -hmm. They lost to the Lakers. Do they lose to the Lakers if Kyrie Irving's on the court? No. No. Um, they lost, I'm looking, to the Sacramento Kings. Does that have, I mean, well, then again, Kyrie was on the court for that. When I'm looking at this, the Washington Wizards, he was on the court for that too. I'm just looking at some of these teams, and I'm looking at last night's loss at home in Brooklyn against the Dallas Mavericks, and I'm saying, do you lose that game if Kyrie Irving is on the court? The answer would be no. I think they win that game last night if Kyrie is on the court. So if we're going to give him credit when he's spectacular, we also got to point the finger at him when he ain't there. That's where I'm at. S.A., yes. we talk about this every day, like we expect something to change as it relates to Kyrie getting vaccinated. No, I'm no, just no, no, just let me, let me, let me, yeah. I'm not saying you do. Right, right. And I know that people were expecting, I know I did, expecting circumstances to change, the private sector mandate. But I've known what this is from the beginning with mm -hmm. Kyrie. Mm -hmm. He's made his statement mm -hmm. that he wasn't going to play. So, you know, I, I, I'm not saying that Kyrie doesn't deserve some blame. Of course I would love to have Kyrie on the court and play against the likes of who they played last night in the Dallas Mavericks. Of course I'd love to see him on the court against the New York Knicks. But it, it, it feels like we can't let that go, even though we know what it is. Mm -hmm. We know what it is, but we're always going to try to find some way to bring it back to Kyrie and make it his fault. Mm -hmm. When he's told you exactly what this was from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So does that never stop? No. Is it, is it forever from now on? Because I've, I've heard multiple. I mean, I feel like if Stephen A's car got towed in New York, God, Kyrie Irving, damn it! If Stephen A's plane got delayed, Kyrie Irving, the wind. If it's him going to a game to see a Knicks, even though he's allowed to be in the building, he shouldn't be there. He's showing up. He's trying to. 
it feels like everything well, he does, but, there's something that mm -hmm. you find wrong well, with well, it. So well, what I, can uh, this man uh, uh, do? Okay, okay. And hold on, let me finish my point. The okay. only thing I want to say to you is Well, you're sounding like you're asking questions. I'm, I'm ready not, to answer No, they're rhetorical okay. questions. Okay. They're not meant for you to answer. Okay. You do it to me all the okay. time, brother. Okay. All actually, I'm saying... But okay, go ahead. I don't. I actually say what you, I have to you, say. No, you... Okay. you <laughs> I just say you, what I have you to say. You do it! Yes. You do it! What is your this point? is part of your performance no. art. Right, right. I, I've seen it. Okay. All I'm saying to you mm -hmm. is if we know what it is, right. why does it always seem to come back to be mm -hmm. his fault for something? It feels like it's just dumb because it's what... All right. It's what... Oh, it, this creates mm -hmm. a ripple effect, so we have, we're mm -hmm. going to talk about it again when that's yeah. not the case. Okay. So... Let me answer your questions directly and specifically because it's about time, bro, that you man up and just accept this situation. I do accept the situation. No, 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 no. It's basketball. It's the basketball season. Yes. It's not like we're talking about Kyrie while summer baseball is being played. We're in the throes of a basketball season. The playoffs are approaching, and we're looking at a Brooklyn team with them. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at a Brooklyn team without him. Yes, understand. With him, they can win the chip. Without him, there's no way in hell it happens. Period. So now when you get to that point, we're talking about this guy and his decision, whether we agree with it, it or, or not, not, costing them a championship. Yes. That's what we're talking about. You're in the sports talking business. So my question to you, rhetorically, would be why... Are you even in the business if you can't talk about Kyrie? He's relevant. His, everything we're talking about is relevant. I'm not, Tommy, Tommy, I didn't bring him up about my car. I didn't bring him up about it getting towed. And by the way, I don't like you bringing that up because it did get towed a couple of weeks ago. Okay? And I had to go and get it back. So I don't like the fact that you brought up that bad memory when I got to go online and get my damn car back because I had, a, the boot I, had on a, I had an unpaid ticket I didn't know about. Mm. A parking ticket, okay? But neither here nor there. The point that I'm making is I didn't bring him up then. I didn't bring him up then. When I brought him up, when I brought him up in the stands, why did I bring him up in the stands? Because despite my disgust with the decisions that he's made, I have been on the record on national television saying the mandate is a joke. It should be lifted. Mayor Adams, I understand that you didn't make the policy, but the bottom line is you're the mayor. You're the head man in charge right now in New York City. You have the power to lift that mandate. You've lifted it for K-12 through public schools. How the hell can you got fans coming into the Barclays Center unvaccinated? How come Kyrie Irving can't play? So I've defended him in that regard. Yes. I've pointed that out. But the point is, if you show up to the Barclays Center, what happens is you might antag you might come across as antagonizing the mayor, thereby giving him less incentive to do what's right. But That's why I brought that up. That's why Mike Wilborn brought it up. That's why everybody brought it up. Because we're saying, why are you antagonizing the situation? You got to handle it diplomatically and delicately because this man has the power to change course, which he should, so Kyrie can play. He should. Not just for that reason, but he should. But it, it, it's, it sounds like you're directing your energy towards Kyrie, and I'm saying the energy should be directed towards the situation. Like, you just described the situation about the man being lifted for kids in grammar school, right? So, like, that's my thing. Like, if you're angry about the situation, but it feels like you always it's flip it back because to Kyrie. Well, well, listen, it's two things. I've done both. The same guy that's going at Kyrie is the same guy that says the mandate should be lifted. But you can't blame Kyrie oh, 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 if you're talking, if you see what the situation no, 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 is oh, for the situation. Oh, I most certainly can because what, what did we say? Must, must I rewind the clock and remind you what we argued about? This is where you and I are diametrically opposed, so let's remind our audience of where we stand. I am of the position that because you got cats to go to Brooklyn, that because the league mandate is what it is, and because 99% of the league ultimately made the sacrifice because they got a job to do, you should have done it too. You disagree. You talk about putting self in your body and all of this other stuff, and I respect that, but I disagree because my hope... Was, listen, and bottom line is this. I didn't necessarily want to take the vaccine, but I was going to because I knew it was the right thing to do specifically because my employer says, listen, you got to work. You got a team to look out for. This is what I, this is what our conditions are. I'm looking at millions upon millions of people across the country. This is what the mandate is. I'm looking at the NBA. A lot of your teammates did not want to take the vaccine, but they did it. You are holding out. Fine. But in the process of holding out, just understand, you could potentially cost your team a championship because with Kyrie on the floor, with KD, they are that lethal 
They can beat anybody. That's Milwaukee. That's Philly. That's Miami. I'm not saying definitively it will happen, but I believe they can beat anybody. The Warriors, I agree the with Phoenix you. Suns, them two together could win the whole thing. And in the end, when we look at them, because we know what KD is going to bring, when we look at them, if they don't do it, what's going to be the reason it didn't happen? So, is Kevin Durant angry at Kyrie Irving? No, clearly no, not. He's not. Oh, really? We want to go He's here? not. We want to go he's, I'm going there. We want, I've go, already been go ahead, there. Go ahead. He's not angry go ahead, at Kyrie. Go ahead. So, I get your Kevin frustration. Kevin Durant, wait, 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 he so, did this. So I'm going. He did this, so Kevin wait, Durant, so not wait, me. No, go ahead. Kevin's angry at this situation. That's what I've heard. I mean, Nick Burdell mm -hmm. was on our show earlier mm -hmm. yeah. talking about totally multiple angry conversations with Kevin Durant about the fact about the situation being something that KD's more angry about than Kyrie Irving. Okay. So, all I'm sitting here saying is, yeah. It's frustrating right. as a fan to see Kyrie Irving one night mm -hmm. drop 60. Right. I get where your animosity, where your frustration comes from. I want to see him play. You want to see people ball out. I but what I'm trying it. to tell you that's it. is because he does, he's not giving you what you want, not giving fans what – like, it's still a part of the situation for him. Wow. And it's because he's not vaccinated. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Hold on. Kevin Durant, this is not me. Jay Williams started this. I wasn't going here. Okay, let's go to KD. <laughs> Kevin Durant, is he playing? Yes. Why is he playing? Because he wants to win. Okay. So and he doesn't, have a, tell, tell me, he doesn't have an issue tell, tell me, tell me. with taking tell, the vaccine. Excuse me. Excuse me. He didn't necessarily want to take it from what I was told. He just did it because guess what? That's the mandate. That's and his he choice. Wants, tell me, and it's the mandate he wants. Yes. Don't give me choices. We all know he has. everybody has the right to make that choice. Yeah, but Let's you're not making, be you're making it sound like, oh, no, I, was, no, I, no, I felt a little no, bit pressured to take it no, because no, I want to no. win a championship.